Well, we apparently have a couple of technical glitches here. You may have seen the uh, picture flicker there while I was doing the weather. You're apparently just things upset are... that you didn't have surfing with Kirk. You on the little surfboard. Come That's up. okay. We can do it without it. <laughs> okay. What do you What do you got for us? Tonight? Hey, you, go you know, speaking of glitches and the little tiny bugs, mm -hmm. we have lots of little tiny bugs that are on the way because the cicadia brew that is in Kentucky is about to hatch. Oh, great. Oh, yes. This is something that happens every 13 years or 17 years. Well, this is the 17 year cicadas as you can tell from the website cicada, cicada mania, mania. Wow. that's yes now this site is devoted to all things cicada related you can buy t-shirts you can buy uh, coffee cups you can get your questions answered there are questions here on the left I'm going to click into one are cicadas safe to eat specifically they're talking about pets there is some concern that uh, the wings or some of the harder parts could make them choke, but mm -hmm. in the most part, uh, the Humane Society warns that this is not a good idea if you see your pet trying to chew down on one you want to skip it. Now, you may wonder just exactly where are the cicadas going to hatch, and in fact, there's a pretty good map here. If you come down here, it's the brood, I believe this is 14, brood 14 map. As you take a look at this, you can tell we're just in the pink, which over here is a light emergence. The dark red are expected to be heavy emergence. So wow. what, when is this going to come through? Or Kentucky. Through? Yeah, look, Kentucky, it's, that's where their <laughs> home generally is. Okay. When will they hatch out? It depends on the average temperature, and it looks like it's going to be someplace between May the 5th and May the 15th that we start to hear them. Where Was that when they'll reach our area? Uh, maybe a little bit later on. They probably hitched a ride on a semi truck up I-77, uh, and so yes, that may be in our area about that time. Clever, clever, That's Kirk. true. <laughs> okay, well, last night we did the Super Mario Brothers, and mm -hmm. we got such great feedback. A lot of people were checking out our video, and I got a couple emails about it. So tonight, uh, this is for all you Nintendo historians out there. It says, are you a Nintendo historian? Hmm. This is on mentalfloss.com. It says, well before the Wii, Nintendo borrowed its way, burrowed its way into our pop culture with classic games like The Legend of Zelda, Mike Tyson's Punch Out, and Met what is that Metroid? Metroid, yeah. yeah Metroid. Well, how well do you remember the little details? I don't know. Well, I, I'm I'm not going to try this either. But this is a quiz. For yeah. Oh, you have to match things. Yeah, you do. And I see. I. Uh, Where are the silver arrows? I would Yuck, say that dumb, this is boom, too. Bum. Oh dear. So you have to match them up which game they were associated with. Exactly. So if you're a Nintendo historian, you probably know these. Now I'm not even going to try to get, well, I'll just, that way I'm just putting in numbers. Random so numbers? Okay. We can see what happens. We'll see how bad this turns out if you really <laughs> Yeah, don't really. Know. What am I missing? Five? I don't know. I don't know, ten? Okay, go ahead, try it. Let's see if something happens. Mental floss tells you you are off. Two out of ten. Oh <laughs> well. Wow. Well, just for putting in numbers. Twenty percent, not bad. Test yourself by going to mentalfloss.com. You'll have to check it out, and we'll be right back.